We've spent the last 12 months being relentlessly flexible. The hospitals turned themselves upside down, really, in just a couple of weeks. It meant, in some cases, a total change to working patterns that was going to upend people's lives personally as well as professionally. There was not a peep of complaint. Everybody just stepped up and did the needful. No hesitation, everyone just got on with things. We had a long period where we didn't have enough PPE. Forget all that fancy Tyvek stuff that you saw the Chinese hospital staff wearing. At one point, staff in UK hospitals were literally using the wrappers that the surgical gowns came in to wrap their hair because there weren't enough proper hats. Instead of coming out and having breaks like we ought to, we would stay in the aerosol generating areas so that the PPE would last longer. Things started to look a bit more normal from the end of May, but we had a huge backlog of the elective work. By then, of course, the staff were exhausted, and then it seemed hardly any time went by, and suddenly we were facing the next wave. And people found that very demanding because we hadn't really had a break from the first wave of the pandemic. 